Hello, I'm Tyler Rizai from BeHealing.com and I've made a new pick a card read for you. This time is the full love tarot spread. Celtic cross, full Celtic cross tarot spread about your love life. Now it's a timeless reading. Whenever you get into this video, it's good to go. I've made three readings here, crystal, flower, shell. Each one of them has got a deeper dive. That's an extended reading that goes with it. If you find that it is your story, it could be a story. Want it to be a story, you might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of these readings, I'll be popping a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. And that's where you can also find your timestamps as well to fast forward to your reading. So all you need to do now is take a pick. Which one would you like? Would you like the crystal? Miss Amethyst crystal is out with the King of Wands. That fiery, passionate, perhaps fire sign character, the one that knows what he wants and he goes and gets it and takes the lead and all of that good stuff. Or would you like the flower? And the flower is out with the Nine of Materials. Single, independent, huh? How's that working for you? Or would you like the shell? Which is out with the Three of Cups. This is the card of plenty of options kind of thing. You've got a lot of people interested in you. Hmm, could be. So take your pick now, crystal, flower or shell. Don't forget to click like on this video before you click off as well. Leave me a comment as you're watching. Click on that subscribe button with that notification bell. I do a daily energy update every single day of the year for the collective. I also do three of these love figure card reads a week as well. And I go live three times a week in my Psychic Cafe show here on YouTube where I give mini reads for donations. Would love to see you there. Come along sometime. You can find the next show laying in wait on my YouTube channel by clicking Be Healing down there. I also offer private readings as well from my website, BeHealing.com. You can find a link for that in the description box below and one also up there too. Um, so enjoy your reading. I will see you in there. So if you chose the crystal along with the Lightseer's Tarot, then this one's for you. Let's do a full Celtic Cross Tarot spread for you and find out what's going on in your love life at the moment. Now, as usual, crystals, there's going to be a deeper dive to this. That is an extended reading that goes with this. If you feel that this is your story, could be a story, you want it to be a story, you might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of the reading, I'll be popping a link for up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. So what's this reading all about for you guys, about your love life? It's about six of wands. It's about victory, success in your love life, getting that person that you want. Being seen with them as well, being seen to be together. It's about, yeah, it's about victory in your love life. Okay. Now there might be an element of competition in that as well. If your person is interested in two people and you're one of them, um, this might be about you being chosen, being the winner in that situation. What's crossing you in this? I'm not going to take those. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take those two then. Seem to want to come out. The Hermit and the King of Wands. Okay. The Hermit card is you being on your own path, doing your own thing, in Hermit mode, by yourself, kind of thing, alone. King of Wands, they're the chooser. Your person is choosing, right? The King of Wands, they get what it is that they want. And, and so this is an element of you kind of sitting there and waiting to be chosen. Um, this is crossing you. Just being available to them, you know, kind of being by, your side, by yourself, waiting, being open and ready for them is hindering you. So you're an option to them and they know that you're an option and that they don't need to kind of lock it in. I think this is saying that if you would be more unavailable to them, then they're more likely to choose you. But as long as you're just kind of hanging around and waiting there for them, I don't think that they're going to. Anyway, let's get further deeper into it. How do things appear on the surface of it? The moon, you're all emotional about it and you don't know. It's the unknown that's making you emotional. So that you don't know if they're going to choose you or what. I'm just going to let the cat out. If you don't know, then it's making... That you don't know is making you emotional. So it's the unknown. It's the kind of being... Um, yeah. Being in that waiting place is, is making you feel emotional. Is what it feels. That's what it is on the surface anyway. What's really behind that? Anyway. King of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Six of Cups. So you know what you're worth and all of that kind of thing, and you want stability, right? 
you've had that in the past stability in the past and you've got stability for yourself now as the empress so what it feels like here to me is you've done a lot of work on yourself you become this empress energy so you've got your life nice and stable and you've been doing things for yourself after healing yourself you know and all of that kind of stuff so the empress energy and what you want is an emperor to come along um, this king of wands to come along and choose you and make an effort and show you right so you're thinking that just sitting in that energy is enough for them to come forward and it kind of is but it kind of isn't too because if you're just sitting in a waiting for them kind of thing then you're an option like i said you're an option for them the empress is not available to everybody right she chooses who she's available to and i feel like you've done that you've said like okay this king of wands i'm available to them but if the king of wands is choosing between you and other people then there's perceived value in you not being available do you know what i mean sometimes you have to close the door sometimes you have to you, you make yourself available to them and if they don't choose you in that moment then you have to close the door to them not that you don't want them but you can't be hanging around forever kind of thing you know and they've got to a shit or get off the pot kind of thing you know they've got to take that action then so the empress isn't really the empress unless she's got that queen of swords energy where she's willing to lose out in what she's got by drawing up a boundary and that boundary is if you don't choose me in that moment then the offer's off the table kind of thing and so this is what we've got here is you're emotional in the waiting well stop waiting then you know and it's like yeah but i want them to go and choose me and it's like yeah you do but to do that you've got to stop waiting you've got to say that well no if you're if you're not ready you don't know what it is that you want then goodbye um good luck in your life and all of that kind of thing draw up that boundary let them know let them know that you you are worth more than that you know uh, and they might step up they might not step up but at least you're not going to be in that emotional place of waiting anymore so past energies recent past energies the recent past between you guys the seven of pentacles there was a bit of investment okay there's a bit of investment and then you waited for more near future energy it's yeah it's anxiety it's sleepless night so you're gonna have to do what you don't want to do you have to cut this person off and you don't really want to do that but yeah it's the only way and that is to do that would be to um really embody that emperor's energy right Because if they don't need to make a decision, then they don't need to make a decision. If everyone's just available to them all the time, they don't need to make a decision, right? So what's this reading also about? It's about you winning here. Victory. Six of Wands. Winning this King of Wands that you want. What else is this reading about? The devil. Obsession. Obsession, temptation, and all of that kind of thing. Sometimes it can take us over. The passion, the wanting them, the the obsession of it all. So you might be kind of enjoying the fantasy and enjoying the obsessive as obsessive part of it. Kind of enjoying the focus on them. So even though it's got your emotional waiting, you're kind of enjoying that indulgence of the the fantasy and that obsession kind of thing. Mm, okay, what are your fears? What are your fears? I feel like you're waiting forever for that right offer, you know? The, the right offer that you know that you deserve. Your fears are, but you're not open to receive yet. Interesting. That's why you're not closing down to this person, right? You're staying open. So your fears are that you're not the Queen of Cups, not open to receive. People might have said, oh, you need to work on your femininity or opening up or things like that. You know, you're receiving. And you're like, okay, so I need to remain open to this person. And now I'm telling you not to. I'm telling you to close down to them. I'm like, which is it? Am I open or not? Well, the Empress is open. 
but she's only open to what she really wants, right? She's not going to accept just anything, just any kind of behavior, and she's not going to be left on a shelf either. So it doesn't close you down to close down to this person. In fact, it, boundaries open you up to even more. You'll find. What are your hopes? Your hopes in this situation? What are your hopes? That they choose, right? That they choose. That they get over this seemingly confused state that they're in and they choose. What else are you hoping? What are you hoping for? Death and rebirth. For them to end the ways that they've been and, and to start again, you know, and to, to so that it can have this new beginning with you. So you want the circumstances that you're in at the moment to end and to come through um, for a change, a big change, a big, big life kind of change. Okay, I'm going to get your outcome cards out now. I'll show you the first one of them, but there's going to be about six or seven outcome cards here. And the rest of them are going to be revealed in the deep dive reading, that extended reading. Um, in that extended reading, I'll also be getting cards out of these decks back here as well to find out even more. Um, get timing cards out, message cards from your person. Let's see what's going on for them. Two, three, ooh, four, five, six. Seven, you've got eight cards here, and I absolutely love the way that this is going. This is awesome. Okay, so the first card that you've got out here. Yeah, that's so cool. And it's in that order. Uh, the first card that you got out is the King of Swords here. So someone's going to gain clarity, and I think that's you. I think it's you that's gaining clarity. Um, you're going to need to gain clarity on there. So don't just take it from me in this reading you might want to do a bit of research on this about about boundaries and relationship especially when someone hasn't chosen to invest properly what to do when I mean, there's plenty of relationship um guidance people out there you might want to listen to them and you'll get more information about this gain some clarity on it you might even want to ask them directly as well that could give you clarity there. But that's the first step there of the outcome is you gaining clarity. Now, if you want to know what the rest of these are and you want all of the other stuff that I'm going to get out um, for more guidance for you and all of that good stuff, then you might want to get that deeper dive for even more. Um, and that progression with your outcome is really good. So I think you do want to know that. If you do, I'll pop a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. It's 20 Australian dollars, which is about 15 American dollars right now. And it's an instant watch kind of a thing. You do need to type your email address, address in very carefully because if you get that wrong, you will not receive it. Now, the email might end up in your inbox, but it might end up in your spam, your junk, or your promotions folder. Do check in those places. In that email, you will see a link to the crystal, the flower in the shell. Click on the crystal on a device that you can open PDFs with. In that PDF, amongst other things, you'll see a picture of a video, and when you click on that, if it doesn't take you right away to a video, excuse me, then just try it on a different device, and it will. So thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to click like before you click off down there. Leave me a comment, click on that subscribe button with that notification bell to hear more from me. And if this is where you're leaving me, good luck with all of this. If you're coming with me to that deeper dive read, then I'll see you in there very shortly. If you chose the flower, and the muse tarot then this one's for you let's give you a full celtic cross tarot spread to find out about your love life and what's going on at the moment now as usual flowers there's going to be a deeper dive to this that's an extended reading that goes with it if you find that this is your story could be a story you want it to be a story then you might want to get that for even more if you do toward the end of this reading i'll be popping a link for it up there there's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below so let's get straight into it and find out what's going on in your love life What's this reading all about? It's about justice and the nine of materials. Oh, you've been single for ages, huh? Nine of materials is all about being single and independent and justice. Where's the justice in that? You've been doing all the work for yourself. You've like raised yourself up, built yourself up, uh, healed yourself, sorted your life out. You're single, independent, have a great life and you're alone. <laughs> and you're alone. And how come? You've done all this work. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Well, how come I'm alone then? What's the where's the justice in that? I hear you. Okay. What's hindering you in those? So 
So, what are flowers doing wrong then? Where is the justice in it? Tell us, guys. What's hindering flowers? Five of materials, pushing people away. Okay, a little bit too independent, huh? Pushing people away. The five of materials is that long, cold walk in the snow by yourself, even though you could go into that church and get solace. You don't. You carry on in the snow by yourself. Like, I'm all right. You don't need to help me. It's like that ten of wands, you know, energy where she's got all of those wands on her back, all ten of them. And then someone comes along, can I help you out there? No, it's all right. I've got this. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so a little bit too independent is what I'm getting here, um, and you're kind of pushing people away as a result. A little bit too independent. Okay, how do things appear on the surface of it? The Hierophant, nice. So you've learned a lot of lessons, you're ready for the long-term kind of relationship, you want something that's solid. Um, and so you're really clear on what it is that you want is what I'm getting from this card. Well, that's how it appears on the surface. You're ready, ready for something long term. You know, it can be the card of marriage. We're doing things by the book as well. It, it's traditional kind of relationship approaches. So you might be wanting someone to approach you in that traditional kind of a way. And what's really behind that is the three of emotions and the two of materials weighing up your options about a couple of people so you might have your eye on a couple of people at the moment and you're weighing up your options looking at them is this the long term one is that the long term one you can't really know that without getting into a relationship right because the long term enos long terminus of it is based on if you can relate to each other and outside of a relationship, we can't look from outside of a relationship and figure that stuff out. We've actually got to be in it and be experiencing it. You can choose to the best of your ability all you like, but until you know you are sharing a bathroom with that person, you're not going to know really. So you're trying to decide too much beforehand is what this is saying. Weighing up your options of, of different options of different people and trying to figure out which one is that long-term traditional kind of a tang. Um, recent past energies. What are the recent past energies? Muse of inspiration. Oh, you had a king of wands come in. So someone exciting, passionate, someone that you're very attracted to, um, that you thought, mm, this could be it, this could be the girl. Well, what happened with that one then? So someone came into your life and perhaps you were weighing up whether they were going to be that the long term for you. We, uh, near future energy, you've got competition. Competition and needing to practice too. Okay, I think you've got a lot of suitors here. Single independent person, flower. I think you've got a lot of suitors, people that want to be with you here. Um, but you're just trying to decide beforehand which is the long term kind of thing so you're not getting into it to find out if it can be long term you know and there's an unwillingness to give it a go spending too much time trying to decide beforehand what else is this reading about it's about you getting your just desserts as that single independent winning person get in that relationship it's about the devil too it's about temptation it's about obsession. It's about you not caving in or you not wanting to cave into those lower vibrations of those desires and things like that. So you're, you're wanting to get into a relationship like a very traditional kind of a way and not the kind of traditional as well way of, you know, the passion first and all of that and then it kind of growing into something longer. Okay, so there's an element of that too. You're a little bit too independent at the moment, trying to choose too much up front, projecting to the future, like, is this person going to be long term? And also, there's fears in the devil, there's obsession, there's, there's yeah, I'm getting strong with that, yeah, kind of judging yourself for the, ba the baser kind of attraction stuff, sexual urges and all of that kind of thing. And kind of discounting that whereas maybe you should be going for that more what are your fears 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 
That also can be that you are limerent and you um, you know yourself and you know that once you're into something, you get deep into it, you know, to the point of obsession about someone limerent about them, you know. So in, you fall in love easily. And so you've got to be real careful about who you fall in love with, right? Who you start anything off with because you fall in love hard with them. And so it could be about that too. In, in an obsessive kind of way, a limerent kind of a way. Six of materials, what are you fearing? That it's not reciprocated, that they're not at your level kind of thing. Fearing ten of materials, building up something up with someone and it eventuating to nothing. And what I mean by that is building something with someone and then finding out, oh, this isn't long term. So I think that you've got like, that nine of materials is very strong, right? You've got a lot to give. You're right there, you could like, Maybe perhaps you've already got a house and a career and all of those things. And if someone came along or, you, or you're ready to do all of that kind of stuff, and if someone came along, then you would invest straight away, get a house with them, that kind of thing. Build it up quickly because you're ready for that, but it not. And then if it fizzles out, then it's problems. It's a nightmare to, to pull apart stuff like that, you know, divide it all up. So you're really ready to build even more. And you're kind of showing that as the nine of materials, right? That's someone that's got their own empire. It's just before empress kind of an energy, that pre empress kind of an energy. So mm, a lot about investing here and making sure that you're with the right person who can invest. It's got something for you that's reciprocal and that can be long term too. Fearing the five of emotions, that your heart is a little closed down, that you're not tuning into your heart. And I was kind of getting that from the devil, devil energy, well, heart, um, passion, desire, all of that kind of thing. Tuning out from that and trying to decide with your head more than that. What are your hopes? <laughs> you hope that they love you. The king of emotions. Falling in love, you hope to fall in love. And that there isn't going to be a painful ending. <laughs> And that things completely change for you. You're ready for a change, aren't you? Yeah, you're ready for a change. Okay, let's get your outcome cards out. Now, I'll be revealing these. I'll, I'll reveal the first outcome card to you, but I'm going to get a progression out and reveal the rest of them in that deeper dive read, that extended reading. I'll also be getting cards out in that extended reading from all the decks back there. Message cards from your person. I'll be getting timing cards out as well. If there's another person that shows up in this reading, then I'll be getting cards out for them too. See what they've got to say for themselves. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Mm. Four. Five. One more or two more. Okay, six. Oh, nice. Okay, so there's your outcome card. You've got six there. The first outcome card that you've got is the seven of emotions. So it's your time to choose now. You've got to make that decision. Stop stalling making a decision. Um, make you, you choose. And there's only so much. Like I said, there's only so much you can choose beforehand until you actually need to get into a relationship and then start it and see how you relate to each other and how you get on in that. Um, yeah, there's only so much choosing you can do beforehand. So this is urging you to make that choice. That's your first outcome is you making the choice. And then you've got the rest of these. And if you want to find out what they are and all the rest of it, you might want to get that deeper dive for even more. If you do, I'll pop a link for up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. It's 20 Australian dollars, which is about 15 American dollars right now. And it's an instant watch kind of thing. You do need to type your email address in very carefully because if you get that wrong, you will not receive it. Now that email, it might end up in your inbox, but it might end up in your spam, your junk or your promotions folder. Do check in those places. In that email, you will see a link to the crystal, the flower and the shell. Click on the sh flower on a device that you can open PDFs with. In that PDF, amongst other things, you'll see a picture of a video. And when you click on that, if it doesn't take you right away to a video, try it on a different device and it will. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like before you click off down there. Leave me a comment. Click on the subscribe button with that notification bell to hear more from me. And if this is where you're leaving me, good luck with all of this. If you're coming with me to that deeper dive read, then I'll see you in there very shortly. 
If you chose the shall along with the Tarot of Mystical Moments, then this one's for you. Let's find out how your love life is at the moment with a full Celtic Cross Tarot spread for you. Now, as usual, there's going to be a deeper dive to this. That's an extended reading that goes with this. If you find that this is your story, could be your story, want it to be your story, then you might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of the reading, we're popping a link for up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. So let's get straight into it because the card is out already of what this reading is all about. What is it all about? Oh, oh, three of cups, third parties, other people being involved, perhaps betrayals or someone not making a choice or you not making a choice because the third party could be on your end of it. So you're attracted to a few people and can't decide or something like that. But we've got a few people in the mix here. What is hindering you? What's crossing you in this? Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a single independent energy. So, hmm, all been very similar this time. The crystal flower in the shell. It's a single independent vibe that you've got about you, which is kind of hindering you in this. So, okay. There might be a few people interested in you, or you interested in a few people, but you're a little bit too single and independent to open up. Give them space or, or, you know, make space for someone in your life or something like that. Or you're trying to find that one that will fit in nicely because you've got a lot on your plate. It could be that. How do things appear on the surface of it? Well, it feels like someone's moving fast towards you. Like there's somebody new. Da, 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 da. Knight of Swords comes towards you. It's like, yes, someone new. Like there's plenty of people, but this one has really caught my eye. Mr. New. Mr. New one has caught my eye. What's really behind that? What's really behind that? The Nine of Cups. There you are again. Single independent. The world. That needs to change first. Okay. So it's not the people that are coming towards you. Is it the right one or not? It's saying that there's plenty for you here. Um, but what needs to ch change is kind of you. Not that you need to change. But you know, your approach needs to change here. So what this is saying is like you're not waiting to for like some magical right person to come along. It might feel like you're doing that and they're going to break through your single independent barriers. That's not going to happen. What's going to happen is you're going to make a change. You're going to complete that cycle of just fulfilling yourself all the time, doing things by yourself to make space, right? And then one of these plenty of people that you've got around you that are interested in you and you're interested in them, you know, you might just be interested in one at a time, but it feels to me like you're waiting around for some, you know, magical thing to happen or for them to make a move and to break through your independence to get to you kind of thing. That's not what's going to happen here. That's going to change first. That single independent thing is going to change first. You complete a cycle with that with the world card. Perhaps recognizing that it's not working for you, the single independence thing could be opening up to more people. Recent past energies you've got the Ace of Pentacles, someone gave you a big offer or had a big offer. Pentacles, it feels like work offer or something like that. You might have got distracted by business or career or something like that. Changed your mind oh, about the pursuit about the pursuit of relationships, five of pentacles, left yourself out in the cold again. So you might have been getting on with like, oh yeah, in the pursuit of relationships, I'm going to do that. Oh, here's a business offer. I've changed my mind. I'm not bothered about relationships. I'm not that interested kind of thing. I leave myself out in the cold again. So you could have started dating someone or putting yourself out there a little bit more and then got distracted again by work. And that is fulfilling you kind of thing. Um, but it's keeping you out of that relationship game. Like I said, it feels to me like you've got solid, independent, empress kind of an energy and waiting for the one person that will come along and break through that and break in into that, like break through your shell um, to get to you. And that, this reading is saying that that's not going to happen. There isn't going to be that magical person that does that. Because they're all just going to go, oh, she's in a shell. Let's leave her alone. What's coming in in the near future then? Near future energies for you. you got the Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Someone comes in with some kind of a hard truth, perhaps. Someone tells you something. Now, it could be someone that you're interested in. Or you could be like saying, oh, I really liked you. 
yeah, you could say, I really liked you or something like that. And they might give you a hard truth, like it was so closed off or something like that. I don't know. It feels like you're going to hear a hard truth. Someone that, someone that learned something from you and, and they're going to be revealing that, the Page of Swords. It's not an apology. It's otherwise, it might be something that you feel like apologizing to once you realize how you came across to somebody. But it might give you a lot of information about what's going on here for this change that needs to be made. Oh. It's also, it's about your wishes being fulfilled. It's about your, you getting what it is that you want, that you're hoping for. So it's like, it's not that you can't have someone special. But someone special isn't going to break through your barriers. What are your fears? Queen of Pentacles. You're stable, doing it all by yourself and all of that kind of thing. The Queen is one up from that Nine of Pentacles. So it's like into spinsterhood kind of thing it is. It's from single independent and it being a good thing to spinsterhood. So you're afraid of like, oh, I'll lose my chance. Afraid that you're overprotective. Seven of Wands, protecting yourself too much. Mm, perhaps. Hopes. What are your hopes? Hopes are oh, the wheel of fortune, fated connection. There you go again with that magical thinking that there's that one, that one, that special one that's going to come in and break through my barriers. Page of Wands. Someone eyeing you with passion. Like someone seeing your fire, what makes you tick, someone really getting you, someone really understanding you from that page of wands and liking what it is that they see. So someone that really gets you. It, there's this feeling like you're hoping that you can carry on as you are and be who you are and someone that's going to, you know, really get you and, and and break through to you. So let's get your outcome cards out. I'm going to get a progression out for your outcome so it tells a story. I'll be revealing the first one to you though, which is the King of Cups. The King of Cups is the one that loves you. So the sun, it look. There is someone that loves you. There's your second card. Ooh. There is someone that loves you. Someone has got their eyes on you at the moment. That one's come out. Nice. One. So that's four. Five. Oh. Six. I need another one after that. We can't leave it at that. Seven, eight. You have eight outcome cards there. Okay, as I said, the first of the outcome cards is the King of Cups there. So someone, this is your outcome. Someone loves you, and I don't think there's a lack of love here. It is. I don't. There's your other outcome cards there, which I'll be revealing in the deeper dive card. I don't think it's for a lack of love here. I think people are loving you, and then people are like, "Hmm, she's not letting me in." There's no space for me. Something like that. I think you might be surprised that more people have wanted to be with you. Um, but been put off by some kind of an energy about you. So anyway, King of Cups is good because that is someone loving you properly. And that's a great start. If you want to find out what the rest of these cards are, you can get that deeper dive for even more. And also getting cards out of here to find messages from your person. Um, all kinds of other information and guidance for you. We're getting timing cards for the stuff that's coming in as well, giving you greater clarity on that. And also getting deeper into perhaps what this is going to be about here, this Page of Swords. Um, you've got a lot of direct movement, movement and communication that I think would be very... Tell you a lot i think it would tell you a lot about yourself anyway so if you're interested in that deeper dive read i'll pop a link for it up there and there's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below it's 20 australian dollars which is about 15 american dollars right now and it's an instant watch kind of a thing you do need to type your email address in very carefully because if you get that wrong you will not receive it now that email it might end up in your inbox but it might end up in your spam your junkie promotions folder do check in those places in that email you will see a link to the crystal the flower and the shell click on that shell it was a bit dusty Click on your dusty shell um, and on a device that you can have in PDFs with. In that PDF, you'll see a picture of a video. And when you click on that, if it doesn't take you right away to a video, 
try it on a different device and it will so there you go thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like before you click off down there leave me a comment click on the subscribe button with that notification bell to hear more from me and if this is why you're leaving me good luck with all of this if you're coming with me to that deeper dive read then i'll see you in there very shortly